I say it's pretty easy to get into the sport nowadays. The the RWA, who are who are the governing body of windsurfing, um, they run all my program and my training, and um, they go all the way down to the grassroots. Um, I say the best thing to do is to go onto the RWA website, find out where your local windsurfing club is, and um, and get and just um, go down the club, and see what the um, see what's on offer. I've never, I've never uh, sailed a boat or a dinghy when I when I was growing up. Um, however, the current Olympic champion Tom Ashley, he sailed oppies um, from when he was very young till he was 15 or 15 or 16, and then he 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 started windsurfing at 15, 16 years old, and uh, nine years later he was Olympic champion. For sure, the sailing is is, is the best is the best route for learning to race. And, and getting to grips with the tactics. Um, the windsurfing is, is, is a difficult sport to master. Um, it's very much about the kinetics and the feel, whereas a lot of the sailing is, is about the technique and the, and the setup and, uh, and learning how to actually race boat on boat. Um, so um, I think it would, be, it would definitely be a combination, a combination of the two. I would say don't just give up sailing and go windsurfing. Um, you, are, you are in the best feeding class to make you a tactical genius and um, you know if you keep racing that and you keep learning learning how to race properly um, you're gonna that's gonna really kind of leave you in good stead but also don't um, don't give up on don't leave the windsurfing too late because you know it, it's difficult it's uh, it's a very very difficult sport to get to the top level and uh, nothing's gonna replace hours in the water So, if I just talk through my program and what I do, um, and then I'll go on to what I think um, just your general windsurf needs to do to, to stay fit and uh, injury free. Um, I say if I, take, um, if I take a week in January where I'm doing less sailing and more fitness, I'll, um, I train five or six days a week. Um, with a large emphasis on the, my aerobic um, conditioning, so that means I and I tend to do most of my aerobic training on on the bike, on the road bike. Um, one, be, I mean, one because it's enjoyable, two because I really like cycling, and, and three because it's uh, you know it's low impact and you you can sit there in the right training zone um, for the right amount of time and really you know really uh, get a lot of benefit from doing something that's quite enjoyable. So I'll do, um, say I have three different types of ride I'll do. I'll, I'll have my, my first and most important session would be the two hour ride, which is at 80% um, of my max heart rate. So um, my max heart rate is 200, um, therefore 80% is at 160. So on the bike, I'll have um, the um, I'll have the heart rate um, on my bike, on the computer along with the power from the cranks as well. So I have my on the water winter fitness and then I have my, my kind of aerobic, what I call base fitness. Um, and, uh, and then I'll do anything to do with the strength and conditioning um, in the gym, which is two sessions a week. Um, and that's generally injury prevention um, type exercises, which I do with the strength and conditioning guy. Um, and uh, and that kind of forms the basis of my program. So nothing really interesting. I don't really spend a lot of time doing any other um, sports other than cycling or in the gym. Um, it's a little boring, but um, it does um, it does everything I need um, as an elite winsurfer. I never thought we'd get the bid, and I just thought, wow, wouldn't it be wouldn't it be absolutely amazing? This. If we get the bid, this will make my life. This will be the crowning kind of glory of, of what everything I've done. You know, I knew that I'd be 32 years old when, when the Olympics came to Weymouth, and I thought, well, that's it. That's the pinnacle. That's where I want to be. I'll be 32. I'll be at the top of my game. Um, I can, you know, I can win this. I can win that gold, that Olympic gold medal, and I can win that at home in Weymouth. And uh, you know, to me, I, that to me was pretty amazing. Um, I remember uh, just the the cheer and the joy of, it, of everybody in the room. It was it was amazing, um, and really very quite almost quite a special moment.